welcome back to my channel. So today is a continuation on my building my dream at home library series. I will link part one if you have not watched that, but I recently purchased two new bookshelves. You can kind of see a little sneak peek over there. So in this video, it is going to be the process of me building my new shelves, putting all my books on it, decorating it for fall time. And it turned out so perfect. Like these shelves are exactly what I envisioned. I have always had all white bookshelves and I really wanted to do something different and just have a different look. I just love how it turned out. It looks so good. This room is just like really coming together. When I moved into this apartment, the biggest selling point for me was to have a second bedroom that I could turn into my own at home library. So seeing it just like take shape has really made me so happy. I think we're almost in its final form. There are a couple more things that I plan to do with it in the future but for like I would say 90% of the way there so I hope you guys enjoy seeing me bring you along in the making of this room this video is being sponsored by book of the month which is a book subscription service that I love so much they curate a selection of brand new hardcover books every single month and you get your choice of one book plus you can add on up to two other selections and what I really love about book of the month is that you can skip any month if the selections aren't to your liking and you aren't penalized for it so here are the October selections we have the X hex by Aaron Sterling which is the one that I would have chosen out of all of these. Erin Sterling is a pen name for Rachel Hawkins, who I've read a ton of books from, but this is an adult romance about a witch, and it just sounds like so much fun. Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart, which is a thriller about a woman who is returning to her hometown to solve this crime that her family committed. The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towles, which is a historical fiction novel taking place in the 1950s. Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, which is a historical heist story set in Harlem in the 1960s. And then The Perishing by Natasha Dion, which is a speculative fiction book set in the 1930s LA and follows a journalist who explores shifts in time. And then a few of the new add-ons that they have for this month are Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty and The Book of Magic by Alice Hoffman. And if you use my code Riley, you can get any of these books for just $9.99. So thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. So in order to prepare for my new bookshelves, I sort of moved stuff around a little bit. So I put my desk in front of the window and then I moved the chase lounge onto this side of the room. Also ignore how <laughs> messy it is right now. I was just kind of moving things over to this side of the room so that I have room over here to build. So the bookshelves are gonna go completely across this wall and I don't exactly know how difficult they are going to be to build. Hopefully I can do them by myself because I have no other option. Come on, up. Good boy, now go get your spot. There we go. <laughs> That's where he hangs out on my desk while I work. It actually looks fairly simple to put together. So, hopefully it's as simple as it looks. All right, we are making progress. I got the whole frame up. These X's in the back were so hard to line up, right? That was like the most time consuming part. So now I have to just put on all of these shelves and I think that's it. All right, the first one is completed. I love how it looks. So now I'm gonna take a little break. It wasn't hard, it was just really time consuming with all of like the little screws and everything. So I'm gonna take a break before I start on the second one, but I'm so excited. I finished building them. Look how good they look. Oh my God, I am so excited. And like when you walk into the room, they're gonna be the first thing that you see. Oh my God, okay, so. I'm gonna take a break because this did take me quite a bit of time. I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're going to put all my books on here, decorate them, and it's gonna be so good. So I think the first thing I'm going to do 
to decorate the shelves. I was trying to figure out what books I want to put over there and I think I'm gonna move all of my romance books onto the shelves behind me mostly because one that's the, what I own the most of this entire shelf except for this middle one are my romance books and it's as you can see very full and then after I take all those off I can kind of like reshuffle everything else and what I would like to do is have the books not be like so packed in I want like space to decorate so over here since I have so much room I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put books on every other shelf because I want a lot of like blank spaces to add decorations and I don't want to just like fill it up completely right away I need to find a playlist to play while I am doing this and I think I'm gonna go with my what a girl wants soundtrack. That's the vibes that I want today. my romance books up here. I feel like once I put them on this shelf, it looks like I have a lot less than I did on the other shelf, but I have them organized very similarly to how they were on the other one. I have my book of the month romances, and then most of the, like, these are traditionally published rom com -y, contemporary type of romances, and then as I was going through, I was trying to keep, like, my favorite authors front and center, which is why Talia Hibbert is right here in the middle, and I have Actor H. Eve Brown turned out, and then going over here, I have some indie romances, contemporary indie romances. I turned The Surviving Trace out because I just love that cover, and then down here on the next shelf, here are all of my kind of darker romances and then they go into over here after Sea of Ruin they go into um, kind of just taboo romances although I would say that these are darker because they're mafia but I needed these as the end so that <laughs> I could hold all the books together eventually I'm gonna need to get bookends to keep some of these standing but I turned out Sea of Ruin and Killing Sarai, because I love those covers. I might change the ones that I have turned out, but for now, that's what I've got. And then down here are my fantasy romances and then um, paranormal. And then I have Bridge Kingdom turned out. And then in this last little section, I have my uh, Karina Halley books over there. And then these are all just kind of like random romances that I don't really know where I would categorize them. So I just sort of stuck them there. So the entire bottom shelf and top shelf are left clear. I don't really know what I want to do with them yet. I don't know if I want to bring my mass market paperbacks and put them somewhere on here, but for now I'm just going to leave it. I want room to be able to add books, so like I said, I don't want to just like completely fill it up, even though I could. But I did go ahead and pull out a lot of my decorations, mostly my like fall and Halloween stuff because I want to decorate this shelf for fall. I don't know, I pulled out all my fall boxes and this is what I'm gonna use to decorate. really cute now. So I'll just kind of show you all the decorations that I put up. So on the top, I hung this string light with fall leaves. I need to get new batteries for these because they currently 
do not turn on, but I think they'll look so cute once I do. And then I have this Salem Broom Co. sign. I put a bunch of pumpkins everywhere, like tons of pumpkins. This really cute snake candle. My fall sign, which looks great. My little potion bottles, more pumpkins more potion bottles, my giant bat pumpkin, which I love, my little bat neon sign, which I also need to get new batteries for, this little decoration, which I think looks so cute right there, more pumpkins, um, and then just this little decorative jar. I might do more decorating. I think I know that I have more fall and Halloween decorations somewhere. I just don't know where they are, but I think this is looking really good so far. So now I just need to tackle this shelf and uh, kind of like readjust all of my books to fill out the space. decorations up on the top since I don't have any books up there I wanted like tall things up there and I feel like it looks really good I don't know if that's 100% how I'm gonna keep it but for now I'm just loving this bookshelf it just looks like everything that I envisioned it to be and then I hung this moon wreath over there and I think that looks so cute with my little reading chair this is the chair that I, I sit in when I film and here in the doorway I put up this home sweet haunted home sign and then I have this plant here and then my desk area like you guys saw earlier Loki sits up here on my desk with me so I like to keep it pretty clear so he doesn't like knock stuff over and then over here is my TBR cart with all of my uh, TBR books for the month and then we have all of my other bookshelves and I think it is looking pretty good I do want to decorate it some more but I need to buy more decorative things to do that. So basically how I reorganized this, it didn't take that long since all of the books were pretty much organized. I just sort of moved them around. So this whole bookcase are my fantasy books. I kind of have them organized by height and by series. So all of my like paperbacks are up here and then this shelf are kind of like standalones or ones where I only have one book in the series. And then this shelf are more of my like ongoing fantasy series. And then I have this picture of this quote from Game of Thrones. My skin has turned to porcelain, to ivory, to steel. It's a Sansa Stark quote. And then my favorites shelf is exactly the same. I know, I knew I didn't want to change that. And then going down here, I have my like taller hardcover fantasy books. So then this next shelf are my sci-fi books and they're still sort of organized by like types of sci-fi. So we've got like Star Wars, um, time travel, space travel, more space travel, and then like superheroes, some like alternate timeline stuff. And then the next shelf are kind of like more kind of speculative, magical realism, fabulism, and then post-apocalyptic. And then the next shelf down here are nonfiction and then some classics. And then this next shelf are my horror and then it goes into thrillers. And these really aren't organized by like any particular way. And then my thrillers, I have this art print of Sansa right here that I love and adore. And I have her sitting next to some of my good for her books because of course. And then more thrillers. These are kind of like horror sci-fi books that I didn't really know if I should put them in horror or sci-fi so I stuck them there. And then this shelf is the start of my YA books that go over here. I didn't move my YA stuff at all. And then these top two ones are my historical books and once again they are organized by time period. Um, so they go 
in order pretty much and then at the top are still my book of the month books eventually I want to take those down and move them because I can't reach those <laughs> unless I get a ladder but for now they're just gonna stay up there until I figure out exactly where I want to put them. And then over here, I just have my little reading nook with my Chase Lounge, Loki's bed, and some blankets, some pillows, and um, a lot of my mass market paperbacks are back here. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with those as well. But yeah, that is the final room, and I feel like it just looks so good. I am in love with how it turned out. So that is the final showing of my home library. Like I said, I do have some more things that I want to do to this room, but I'm, I think that I'm like finally very satisfied with how it's coming together. I would love to know in the comments of this video which kind of bookshelf style you prefer. If you like the classic white bookshelves or if you like the new darker wood open bookshelves. I go back and forth on which I prefer. I think I really like both so I like that I have both styles but I would love to know what is your favorite bookshelf style. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!